Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this really pretty marbly watercolor alcohol ink tumbler. What I like to do is take a couple of days out of the month to really create something different than what I have normally been creating so I like to sit down and kind of just grab a tumbler and create something that is not in order that's not necessarily being created as a tutorial I just kind of like to sit down and see where my creativity takes me now, one of the things I really love dabbling in is alcohol ink art and so I decided to sit down one night and play with a tumbler. I put down some inks and I went to town and this is what we came up with. And so many of you wanted to see how I created this. So I decided to edit the video and put it out to show you guys how I created this tumbler. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really pretty. And like I said before, I really love playing with alcohol inks. So while this may not be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I created with created this because alcohol inks kind of do their own thing i am going to show you the entire process and speak to you about what my thoughts were while i was creating this tumblr so hopefully seeing this video is helpful to you if you're excited to see how i came up with this then keep on watching All right, so in front of me, I have a little white plastic tray that I got from Walmart, I believe. It just has a couple of little spaces to where you can put either your inks or your paints. So the first spot I'm going to fill, I'm actually going to be putting in there some alcohol. It's the 91% alcohol. And then I'm going to be putting down the rest of the colors in the other spaces over here. Um, the inks I'm using is Bray, Bray Reese inks. I got them from counterculturediy.com. There will be a link in the description down below if you want to check them out. I've been really enjoying using these inks. They, are, they work, work really well and they're highly pigmented, which is always good when you're working with alcohol inks. So I'm going to be just putting the different colors that I plan on using here in this little tray. And originally, my first thoughts were to do a smoky tumbler with some red accents. Um, but as you move along, I do end up adding some other colors. And it just ends up being something a little bit different than what I had originally thought of. But sometimes that happens when you're working with alcohol inks. Because like I mentioned before, they kind of like to do their own thing. So as I have a general idea of what I'm going for, that kind of changes as I move along with the tumbler. But here you can see I'm creating some smoky lines here because my original thought was that I was going to create a more of a basic black and white marble with some red. Um, so I drew out some lines that were going to be the um, marble effects. And then I go and dip my paintbrush into that alcohol ink to kind of blur out those lines. So you can see that I'm going back and forth, kind of tr making an outline of where I kind of want like the veins of my marble to be. And then I go into that alcohol to blur out those lines. And you're going to see a little bit more about what I mean when we go into blur in those lines. So here's where you're going to see that I kind of start dabbing on that alcohol to blur out those lines, get them to blow out a little bit. Um, I do want to mention that if you're doing something like this and you want to try and blur out those lines before your alcohol ink starts to dry, it's easier to blow them out when they're still wet than when they start to dry and get settled onto the tumbler. So keep that in mind if you're going to try and sit down and do something like this. Um, work with like one line at a time versus trying to put down too many lines and working with all of them at the same time. I do want to mention that this video is sped up for time purposes. So while it may look that look like I'm working really fast, I'm really taking my time with this. But for the purpose of this video where I really wanted to show you guys more so the process than a step-by-step -step tutorial, I sped it up. 
so that I can show you guys the full tumbler um, and kind of just talk to you guys about what I was thinking when I was sitting down and designing this tumbler. Um, like I said before, this isn't a really like a step-by-step -step tutorial, but I thought it'd be fun to just show you the full process since this is, was one of my like creative nights where I just wanted to sit down and kind of play with the tumbler and um, yeah, just play around. So I really liked how it turned out though and a lot of you guys loved how it looked. So I wanted to put this video up for you guys. I think it's super important to always take some time aside to just be creative and do something different and do something new, especially with the holidays that just passed. I know that a lot of us can get overwhelmed with all the orders that come in. And also sometimes it can be a little bit repetitive doing the same technique and design over and over again. But um, it's super important to take the time and just create and just have fun and not limit yourself to the same thing over and over again. So hopefully this video is a little inspiring to you guys and you can see that it just takes some time to just sit down and have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to have a plan, you know, just sit down and let your creativity flow and see what happens and that's what i did here and i really love how it turned out so i can't wait to just continue to create and play and share the journey with you all So as you can see, I really use the black lines to create those veins all around the tumbler. And I'm using just the regular alcohol to blur out these darker lines. So one of the colors that's in this Bray Reese collection is super, super dark. It's the one all the way on the right side of the tray. And you can see that I barely used that one because it was really hard to blend out and get a smoky effect once it was on the tumbler. So you can see right here that I'm really, really trying to blur out that black as much as I can because it was kind of heavy. Um, so here I am trying to figure out how I'm gonna blend that all out. You know, I'm making more veins and more lines. I just love the way those looks. that looks when you take your paintbrush and kind of create like little veins and kind of looks like lightning, but that's kind of the basis of like a marble tumbler with those veins going through. So I'm creating the veins and then taking the alcohol and just blurring out those lines. Again, in no particular order, no particular reason, just playing around and seeing where the inks and the alcohol Every now and again, I add that red and you can see that it kind of blurs itself out to a fuchsia or pink color. So I'm just going to go in and try and blur that out a little bit and create that red pinkish effect on the tumbler. And I'm just using that alcohol to just help me blend everything out. I do have a alcohol ink blending solution 
also that I try to use, but in my opinion, it didn't work as well as just regular 91% alcohol. Um, maybe I just have to play with it a little bit more, but that's just my opinion and my experience with the blending out, uh, the blending ink. So yeah. So after I pretty much put down all of the gray and black all around the tumbler, I really decided to go in with that red. Um, I felt like I needed to bring more color to it. I guess it was calling to me. I originally had wanted this tumbler, like I said, to be more based of black and white with just some of the accent um, red color. Uh, but then I decided to just make it colorful and so here i am adding more red and blending that out and then i do go in with some blue and you're gonna see me add that in a little while the total amount of time it took me to create this tumbler was actually a little over an hour so while i do want to show you the process of the whole entire tumbler cutting it down is still going to create um, this video to be a little bit longer than I had originally wanted it to be. So I'm going to just cut some footage out and skip ahead to where I'm adding the blue color, but you kind of get the gist of how I'm working on the tumbler so far by adding my alcohol ink lines and then using the alcohol to blur it all out and blend the colors together. So let's go ahead and jump over to when I start adding the blue color. So here you can see in this little medicine cup, I went and added that teal blue color and now I'm going to start filling that into those white spots um, that are open. And I'm going to just use the same technique that I've been doing where I apply the color and then go in with the alcohol ink to kind of blend it out and create more veining. So I'm going to be using that blue color to fill in any white spots that may be open and also like kind of blend the blue and the red and the black together and some of the blue and the red create a really nice purple which is really pretty as well so you can see how I work that into the tumbler um, right now when I added the blue to this spot right here you're gonna really notice how it starts to create a really purple really pretty purple color as soon as I add the ink right here I love that combination and I love how it kind of like smokes out. As you can see, I'm not really rubbing. I'm just dabbing in the alcohol ink and letting it just blow out and do its own thing. So yeah, like I've said before, I just really love how it all starting to come together. And again, I was just kind of playing around and just following the inks. 
and working with them. As they moved around, I kind of figured out what I was going to do with them. That's pretty much it. So I'm just going to continue to speed ahead now, show you guys how I put the rest of the color in these spots and blur it out. Again, no rhyme or reason here, just kind of filling in those spaces with all the different colors that I've been playing around with, as well as blending that out with the alcohol. So um, once you're done applying all of your alcohol inks, you do want to let that sit and dry. I ended up leaving this for about 24 hours to fully dry before going in with my top coat of resin. Now, if you wanted to, you can also um, add some sparkle to your resin, maybe add some gold leafing if you wanted. I played around with the idea of adding some gold leaf or some silver leaf onto the tumbler or whether or not I was going to add some sparkle in the resin. I decided to leave it be. I was very happy with how this all turned out. So I went in with a clear coat of resin, which you're gonna see me do that in a little while. I let that cure and that was it, we're done. I'm not gonna be adding a decal to this or a name unless requested. I will be either putting this up for sale or maybe doing a fun giveaway in the Facebook group. So, if you enjoyed this tumbler, then let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to jump ahead now to when I'm applying the resin to the tumbler, but I really hoped you enjoyed seeing the whole process of this tumbler, and I hope that it inspires you in some way, shape, or form to create something fun like this, or at least to take some time for yourself to create something different that maybe you've never created before. So if you've made it this far, I wanted to invite you guys to hang out with me at the end of this video because I'm going to be discussing with you guys a new mentorship program that I just started up on patreon.com. So if you want to know more info on how you can get training, education, learning how to build your business, learning how to grow on social media, or just more one-on-one -on -one um, lives and information from me, then stick out to the ending of this video and I will give you guys more details on that mentorship program. I'm going to be opening up select seating for you guys if you want to join. So yeah, stay to the end of the video. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about what the mentorship program in is and as well, there will be links in the description to go and check it out.
hope you guys really enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time we upload a brand new video. Now, if you've made it this far and you're here to find out more information about our mentorship program, thank you guys so much for watching all the way through and I hope you're excited to learn more about what our mentorship program is all about. So I recently just decided to start up this mentorship program. It was highly requested from a lot of you guys out there who have been following me for a long time. Those of you guys who have been enjoying me here on this channel. So I wanted to create a mentorship program where you guys can be a part of this small little community of people who are interested in learning the nitty gritty on how to advance in your career craft, in your business, on social media, on Etsy. I've created this mentorship program so that I can pass on my knowledge to you guys more in depth than what I will be sharing here on this YouTube channel. So for $20 a month, you can head on over to my Patreon account and sign up. We are opening up a very, very small limited amount of seats. I had sold out the first amount of spots that we had available, but I just had to come on and offer you guys a spot to join me in my mentorship program so like I said there's only going to be a very small limited amount of spots open up for today um, and yeah I'm excited to invite you guys over down below you will find a link to where you can go to sign up for my mentorship program there you can also check out in detail what is included in this mentorship program don't forget to check the description down below where you can follow me on all my social media accounts you can follow me on Instagram TikTok, and join me over in my Facebook group Group as well which is separate from the mentorship program thank you guys so much for making it this far and I'll see you next time